It happened three times at a house in the 4,000 block of Spring Meadow Drive in Ellicott City. Investigators determined someone deliberately set each fire. After the third blaze, the family who lived here moved out. Ellicott City resident David Crawford was arrested on multiple arson charges for a series of fires set across multiple jurisdictions in Maryland. 70-year-old David Crawford, a former Laurel police chief who resigned from that position in 2010, is now being held without bail. He was arrested at his Ellicott City home. Investigators say security videos and digital evidence found in his house helped link him to the crimes. He's accused of setting fires in Howard, Frederick, Montgomery, and Prince George's counties, spanning about a decade from 2011 to 2020. The sheer nature in which these acts are reported, combined with the previous position of such high public trust that was held by this suspect, is disturbing. Investigators say they discovered he had a hit list. All of the victims were known to the suspect. Nobody was a complete stranger that didn't know him. Uh, there are a lot of cases, so the motive in each one is probably a little bit different. Investigators say the fires followed a similar pattern. Videos show someone using gallon jugs filled with gasoline and a cloth wrapped stick to spark the fires. Each fire was set between three and four in the morning. When six of the fires started, victims were at home asleep. They managed to escape unharmed. During a hearing, a judge said he believed Crawford engaged in a rampage of terror and believed he was a danger to the community. Crawford's wife made no comment as she left the courthouse. His attorney said these are a broad series of allegations. The allegations in the uh, statement of charges are inconsistent with his history of uh, serving the community and law enforcement. Also in court, we learned that investigations are ongoing in Anne Arundel County and also Charles County. And police are saying that if they, uh, as these investigations go on, once they are concluded, that Crawford could face more charges. Reporting live from Ellicott City, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV 11 News.